afternoon. Welcome to BBC News. Tributes are being paid this evening to the comedian and actor Mel Smith, who has died at the age of 60 from a heart attack. He's best known for the sketch shows The Last Smith and Jones, starring alongside his comedy partner Griff Reese Jones, and of course, not the nine o'clock news. Well, Griff Reese Jones has paid tribute to Mel Smith, describing him as a force for life to all who met him. Can I put this into some sort of perspective? When I caught Gerald in 68, <clears throat> he was completely wild. Wild? I was absolutely livid. I, <laughs> I believe some folk can hear what Bugs Bunny is saying. And that Salt Lake City is a real nice place to stay in. I believe that JR really loves Sue Ellen. I believe that things sound better when you're yelling. President. Well, let's look at some of the uh, tributes which have been coming in for Mel Smith since the, the news which broke a couple of hours ago. Uh, Griff Rees Jones, who'd been friends with him and worked with him for 35 years, described him as a gentleman, a scholar and a force for life. We'll look more at uh, the extra he had to say as well. But Stephen Fry, who was also an old friend, tweeted, Mel lived a full life but was kind, funny and wonderful to know. Rowan Atkinson, who worked with Smith on both Not For The Nine O'Clock News and the film Bean, said that he had a wonderfully generous and sympathetic presence both on and off screen. And the comedian and screenwriter Matt Lucas said, so sad to hear about the passing of the great Mel Smith, brilliant writer, actor and director, and the lovely man too. And as for the BBC, uh, who worked with Mel Smith for decades, uh, they've been paying tribute to him. And the BBC's Director General, Tony Hall, has said, Mel Smith's contribution to British comedy cannot be overstated. And the BBC's Director of Television, that's Danny Cohen, said, Mel Smith was one of the comedy greats of the modern era. He added, many of today's most celebrated comedians will have grown up learning from Mel Smith. Now, let's, uh, I, I spoke just a little bit earlier to the writer and comedian Helen Lederer and got her reaction to Mel Smith's death. I'm not a close friend, I wasn't a close friend, but I met Mel and I know how important he was in, in my generation. Not the Nine O'Clock News came just before Naked Video and Colin Gilbert, who worked on Not the Nine O'Clock News, directed Naked Video. I auditioned for Mel, uh, for the tall guy, didn't get it, um, but he knew Robin Driscoll well, who directed um, Mr Bean, who directed me. So. Our paths crossed, but ultimately, uh, that's not the important thing, obviously. He was so original, pioneered that kind of the head-to-head -head comedy, the stand-up comedy, and the bravery, you know, going back to the theatre, that there's nothing the man hasn't tackled as an individual. He's his own person, and that's, I think, why it's such a shock. He's a stand-alone person, and a good person as well, um, you know, judging by the, the, the warmth um, he engendered in his friends. We, we touched on uh, some of the tributes there on his influence with the, the world of comedy. I mean, how would you express that? Well, a huge, huge influence. Well, certainly in my generation. I mean, I would watch not the nine o'clock news, um, hit, uh, Mel and Griff um, the, exploring the relationship, a kind of modern, edgy, contemporary version of the two Ronnies and Morecambe and Wise, you know, two guys um, who um, sort of added political satire and awareness to the content of what they did. I mean, they were game changers, um, total game changers in the content of comedy. He went on um, with Griff Rees Jones as well, of course, into making television, into uh, they owned the production house, yeah. Talk Back Productions, and made... Powerful, the, um, powerful. I mean, you, there's a lot of, the, in those days, you know, being the right kind of person in the right place at the right time, <laughs> as I would, look, I would understand it, and clearly um, uh, Talk Back, and then I don't mind what they sold it for, it was probably a lot, but, you know... It was know, reportedly <laughs> 60 million plus yeah, 10 years ago, 13 years a ago. A lot, a lot. But the importance of that is they created and enabled other quality comedy programs to be made for other people, with other people. I mean, pioneering, pioneering, really very rare, uh, very rare uh, individual.
Mm. You know, there's people like it was the Ali G show, uh, Alan Partridge as well yeah. that, that they the best, were involved in. The uh, best programs. And yet he also, I mean, he also did well in the world of advertising. I mean, he was clearly, he was clearly a clever man. Yes, well, he did psychology. So I, in my experience, anyone who did psychology, they often go into advertising anyway, don't they? They are, yeah, clever, predicting uh, human behaviour, weakness, strength, uh, zeitgeist, you know, got it all, really. He's got it all for a comedian and a businessman. And then, and then, of course, in later years, came back to acting and to having a bit. Because I just wonder, I wonder how much our younger viewers now will know the name Mel Smith. But he was coming back to I acting. I think it goes in phases because obviously the the eighties and the nineties um, invented a new form of comedy. But it's a lot of young people will see those programmes now. But as you say, there's a bit of a retro interest. I mean, students will watch programs I've been in occasionally and you just go how but obviously because they come back I think now uh, um, sad for sad reasons uh, we he will you know his kind of humor um, with that kind of intelligent intelligent um, humor and warmth and not taking himself seriously the key thing I, I value very highly um, will yeah will reach to the um, young of today well, there were fantastic comments from Griff Rhys Jones, who clearly, oh. in 35 years or yeah. so, never having an argument, yeah. working in that sort of environment. I mean, that's yeah. quite a tribute. But they're, they're good. I think they're very intelligent, mature individuals, um, obviously, uh, you know, valuing their friendship and depending on each other and giving each other space to do their own thing. I mean, I don't know. I'm not in a double act, but I, they, they did it well, really well. Well, Helen Letterer there, who I was speaking to a little bit earlier, um, let me just bring more of what Griff Reese jones had to say. Of course, uh, I mean, the two just go together, alas, Smith & Jones in particular, as well as uh, not the 9 o'clock news, worked together for and known each other for 35 years. Griff Reese jones we had a little bit of a statement before, but uh, he also said, nobody could have been easier to work with. We never had an argument about which part we should play or how we were going to do something. We never had an argument, in fact. We loved performing together. He was a very generous and supportive actor, and we had a great deal of fun. And he went on to say that, uh, this is Griff Rees jones saying, we are all in a state of shock. We have lost a very, very dear friend. So that is more of what Griff Rees jones had to say. We hope uh, shortly, within the next five minutes or so, uh, to speak live to John Lloyd. He was the creator of Not the Nine O'Clock News and knew Mel Smith very well. Uh, and we, we expect to speak to him in, in a matter of uh, a few minutes' time. So we'll come back to that shortly.